Hi, and welcome inside the ESPN NBA studios. Kevin Connors, long-distance shootout champ Tim Legler. Well, the Miami Heat lead the Chicago Bulls three games to one in the Eastern Conference Finals. They are on the verge, Legs, and LeBron James has been outstanding throughout the postseason, especially in the Eastern Conference Finals. The numbers just jump off the box score. But you've noticed something about his play that doesn't show up on a box score. What is that? Well, he's doing what true superstars do at this time of the year, and that's really take on the challenge of what their team needs. I've been so impressed with the way LeBron James has defended in this series with Chicago, particularly the way he's taken on the challenge of guarding Derrick Rose. I mean, a 6'4 point guard, the quickest guy in the league right now. And LeBron James takes on that responsibility in late game situations because he's a guy athletically that can keep him in front. And if he does go up to elevate on a jump shot, LeBron being four inches bigger can get off the ground and really contest those shots. So he's made a lot of plays that won't show up on a stat sheet that help them win games. Certainly does enough of stat sheet stuffing with his points, rebounds, assists, blocks, you name it. But but he's made plays defensively to force Derrick Rose into tough situations that have helped the Miami Heat take a commanding lead. What about, I mean, you and I have sat up here all NBA season talking about the Miami Heat and their ups and downs, and there have been mostly ups. But this Heat team is one win away from the NBA Finals. Are you surprised that at the relative ease that they've shown here in the NBA playoffs? I think right now, not anymore with what they've done in the postseason. If you'd asked me two months ago, I didn't think they were going to make it out of the Eastern Conference. But they've answered a lot of questions about themselves along the way, the way that they handled the Boston Celtics and, and the pressure of that series and, you know, such a big shadow that they've lived in with that team, uh, LeBron James, throughout his career to vanquish them and now move on to a team that had the best record in the league, the MVP of the league, and to play the way that they have, really playing a series predicated to the Bulls' style. It's, it's an old-fashioned, you know, defensive-minded series uh, that these two teams have engaged in. And if you said going in that these games are going to be played in the low to mid-80s, most people would have said the Chicago Bulls are going to come out on, on the better of those matchups because that means Miami is struggling offensively. Truth of the matter is Miami is the equal to Chicago defensively right now uh, with their speed and athleticism and versatility. And you have to give them all the credit in the world for staying the course and now find themselves one win away from the NBA Finals, which is what they said they were going to do back in the summer. And a lot of people didn't want to hear it, but here they are one game away from it. Now you talked about the defense. LeBron James, when guarding Derrick Rose head-to-head -head in game four, kept Rose to 0 for 5, shooting and one turnover when the two went head-to-head -head on the defensive end. Legs, uh, for as happy as Miami is with this victory that's going to be, Chicago has to be equally frustrated by the way they played down the stretch. Lost opportunities. We saw it with Oklahoma City last night. Mm -hmm. Chicago had the same opportunity tonight. The critical possessions, they really didn't get much done when they had to. Bottom line, Miami did. And you could look at the last three that Miami's won and point to those final 12 minutes yeah. and, and plays that could and could not be made. And that's, that's largely the difference here in this series, as we'll see as we get to these highlights. Entertaining basketball game down there. I don't even know how to describe this speed. Look how fast he is in transition. I mean, he makes, he makes superior athletes just look slow. Right there, blows through four guys, gets to the rim before Miami can even think about getting back in transition. A feeble attempt at a foul. And, Derrick Rose with three-point play. And there was more to come here as he splits the defense and the newsroom explodes as he hangs in the air and flushes on Joel Anthony. I mean, with all we saw out of Blake Griffin this year, Durant in this series, this one, I don't know where to rank this. This is absolutely spectacular. Look what he does. Two hands, takes off on the left side, but doesn't finish till he gets over to the right side. That's unreal. And he sets, he gets a nice pick from Noah. It's everything that you'd want out of an MVP to close things out at the half. Under a minute left to play on the third. Heat down four. Transition. Mike Miller to LeBron. Absolutely. You know where it was going to go. Luau Dang knew also he had a bad angle. That's why he makes the smart play right there. LeBron going to take it himself, and he'll take the foul. Yeah, and this is Carlos Boozer right here. You, you have to make a better attempt as a power forward. You're showing on a pick and roll. Wrap him up or foul him hard. Bosch, little pump fake, gets to go. Closing yeah. seconds. Bulls have possession. Rose one-on-one -on -one against LeBron. Not going to win this battle. Didn't work the first time. Let's go back to it. Same thing on the right <laughs> side of the floor. In overtime now. Off the inbounds. Bosch. One point game now. Wade thinking about the baseline. Instead, he'll step back and splash. This is when stars take over. That's just too good. There's not much you can do. It's a step back, 20 foot jumper on the baseline. Four point game. Rose is going to lose. And Wade's going coast to coast. And that pretty much was, wow. your, was your dagger slash exclamation point of this one. And the celebration is on. 
It's party time, Miami style. Sammy Sosa, former Cub cheering wildly for the Heat. Now, that's not going to go over well on the north side or the Saw south side or any place else. Game two, 101-93 is your final. So the Heat, they split in Chicago. They get both of their home games. Miami up 3-1. We'll have a chance to close it out Thursday night in Chicago.